perfect pick, where we learn about our favorite foods and where they come from. I'm Katrina Oliver, and today we are learning about blood oranges. That's right, crazy name, but obviously understandable, this beautiful, gorgeous red color. Not only are blood oranges a really unique seasonal fruit, but in my opinion, they're the most gorgeous citrus. When I first saw my first blood orange, I was a little put off by the name, and then when I saw it inside, I was not disappointed. Now, as you will see right here, we've got different looking blood oranges, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to select the best ones. Some are darker, and some are a little bit lighter, and that's okay. The reason why is because the red color is caused by anthocyanin. Interestingly enough, it's caused because of the way it's grown, which is on cold nights but warmer days. Now, originally, blood oranges were grown in either China or Spain, according to experts. Now they're grown all throughout the Mediterranean and in the United States, mostly in California. These oranges here are Moro oranges, Moro blood oranges, from Fowler, California, right here in the Central Valley. Now the anthocyanin, during the cold nights, actually turns the outside red and seeps into the pores, causing sometimes a marbling effect. And if it gets really cold, different conditions, they can actually be this deep maroon blood color. So that's why it's okay if your oranges look a little bit different. And unlike conventional oranges, if they are a little bit darker on the outside, you'll see here, some are more orange looking on the outside, some are a little bit more speckled through their pores, and that is okay. Now, how do you use blood oranges? There's several different ways. A lot of people just like slicing them, eating them out of hand, just like this, and they're delicious. If you're wondering what they taste like, they're citrus, orange flavor with a little bit of maybe a berry, raspberry color, depending on how red they are. They're all a little bit different. They're a little harder to peel, however, than some other oranges. So a lot of people like to cut them up into Supremes, which means you just cut off the rind first, like so, before slicing them into segments. And this makes it great for kids or people who don't like to expel all that time and energy cutting up their oranges. So we'll just do it just like this. And you'll have a nice rind-free segment, just like that. Mmm. Now a lot of people like to put these in nice winter salads with say fennel or golden and red beets for a beautiful display. Other people like to make desserts, blood orange upside down cake. I actually like to just drink it straight like this. Look how beautiful that is. So unique and different than other orange juice. To really impress your friends and fruit display, other recipes, use a special kind of orange. Use the blood orange. Okay. 